everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today I am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for June the 2nd through June the 9th okay so as usual I've got my envelopes here this is the envelope for the 100 envelope challenge that my daughter picked and I have my cash so let's go ahead and count this so that you guys know how much I am stuffing this week Here's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 200. So $200 for the week. Okay, well, as usual, let me go ahead and insert a quick clip of Carol Ann picking this week's number for the 100 envelope challenge. Hey everybody! Hey. I have Carol Ann here. Carol and I've got Lisa. And she is going to be rolling the dice for the 20 sided dice challenge and picking a number for the 100 envelope challenge. So, whatever number she I rolls. I need a drum roll. Blah, 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 blah. 17. 17. That leaves me $3 of my spending money. <laughs> okay. I need Another drum roll. What did you pick? Oh, hell. I mean, darn. Darn. It's. She keeps moving around like upside 37. down. 37. Is it really? See? It's 73. No, it's not. <laughs> so that leaves us with. I don't do math like 20, that. 20. No. $17? <laughs> No, 27. Okay. It's going to be 27. What's 100 minus 73? It's $27. $27. <laughs> okay, so that's how much we have left from our $100 grocery budget after contributing 73 to the 100 envelope challenge. Yay. Yay. Can I go take a nap now? You can. Say goodbye to the people first. Bye, people. Bye. <laughs> All right, so now you know. She picked a 73, so that does give me a little bit of money for groceries, which I'm super excited about, because last week, she picked a 95, which was a really high number. So let's grab 73, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. And if you're new here, whatever number my daughter picks, we take out of our $100 grocery budget. So what does that mean for us? That means that out of $100, we have 27 that um, is left over. So let me grab 27. So here's 20, five, six, and seven. So I'm also doing the $1 and the $5 challenge, which means I'm not going to spend the seven. So this is also going to go into my budgeting with Ira, uh, 20 sided dice challenge. So that's going to leave me with $20 for the week in groceries, which is enough because our house is stocked full of stuff and I've got more than enough food. So my goal is to buy coffee creamer and I think that's that's probably all I need. So $20 for groceries. Then I've got my personal spending money. That is going to get $10, but I'm gonna go ahead and contribute the 10 to the 20 sided dice challenge as well and forego the spending money this week. I really, really, really want to buy a house. <laughs> and the more money I save and don't spend is more money that can go towards that goal. So no spending money for this week. That's going to go towards the challenge. I didn't watch the video back, so I can't remember what Carol Ann picked for the dice challenge, but I'm thinking 17 will cover it. So let's go ahead and do gas next. I have a 2014 Kia Soul that is paid for. I paid cash for it. And I don't go many places because I'm working from home. So I'm going to contribute $10 to my gas budget. I still have 10 in here from last week. So now we have. 
20. And so that's good. I'll probably need to fill up here in the next couple of weeks. And then last is my daughter, Carol Ann. She's a grad student and I give her 80 a week. So here's 20, 40, 60, and $80 for her. So now she is done. So now we've got my money for the budgeting with Ira challenge. So 10, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so here is my Budging with Ira little pouch for the save 1050 and we're going to mark off 17 and we're going to stuff that into my little pouch and I think we might be close to half at the halfway point. Okay, so let's count this and see how much we have here. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 435 out of 1,050. So we're getting closer, which I'm really excited about. Okay, well that is all of the challenges that I had planned. From my paycheck budget, I had earmarked $143 for the uh, challenges. So here's 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff the 100 envelope. So I'm going to get that done. So that's one less high number we have to worry about. And then let's see here, do I have my, yes. Okay, which numbers did she pick? She picked 95 and 73. And we just stuffed 100 and we have $43 left. And with that $43, I'm going to go ahead and put some more money into the budgeting with IRA challenge. So how should we do this? Uh, let's see, here is Here's $8, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, okay, 5, 10, 15, Okay, here's 18, so let me mark off this 18 up here. And then that leaves me with 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna go ahead and mark off a 19, even though I have $20, it's fine. And then here is a five, so we'll mark off a two. I guess we can mark off a four as well because we'll take that one dollar. So I think that's that should be right. So now let's put this into here. And that just gets us a little bit closer to reading, reaching that goal. So between this challenge and the 100 envelope challenge, I'll have 6,000 $100 when I'm done with both of these, which is a really good start to buying a home. All right, guys, that is everything for me. Again, these were my cash envelopes for 
Let's see, this would be for June the 2nd through the 9th. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.